Death's door. Spencer speaking. What are you doing? Well, right now, I'm getting dressed. I was just slowly pulling the zipper up on my pants. You want to know what I'm wearing underneath? AJ? Hey, Jay? hey Mom, I didn't hear you. Are you okay? Oh, I've been better. Still thinking about what happened to Michael. I finished my homework. And I did my chores, Mom. Is there anything else you want to know? Go ahead, mock me. But I'm going to stay on top of your health issues whether you want me to or not. Yeah, I, I got that feeling already. Look, Luke. You may be willing to ignore your health issues, but I'm not going to jump on that bandwagon with you. Did you hear from the doctor? Did you get the test results back? Did they find out if there's something wrong with your liver? Well, apparently they're still searching for some dire disease that I may or may not have, because I haven't heard a word. Okay, just so we're clear about this, this does not fall into the category of your usual lies of convenience. This is not embezzling. This is not philandering. This is your health. You wouldn't lie to me about that, would you? What am I saying? Of course you would. Tracy, if I occasionally massage the truth, smooth things over, just to give you peace of mind, consider that an act of affection. If you are lying to me, I will find out. There's nothing wrong with me, kid. How many times do I have to tell you? Call me when you get the test results back. Michael stopped by uh, after you went to the hospital. We talked. Well, how's he doing? He's incredible. I mean, I mean, he goes through something that is absolutely unspeakable. And, and the kid comes by to make sure that I'm okay. I, that sounds like Michael. I know, and I, it's just that... It just makes it that much more horrible that he went to prison in the first place. I just remember being so shocked at that judge's sentence. But here, this kid was so young. There were, he definitely had to be grounds for self-defense. Mom, that judge couldn't see any further than Michael's last name. He sent him to prison to punish Sonny. No, I don't think Michael saw it that way. You know, you know that video that Franco showed us? I mean, it, it did seem to exonerate him, you know? I'll tell you what, though, Sonny and Carly, they're not getting out that easily. Well, prison is a dangerous place. Jason tried to protect him, but like you said, he was just too late. You know, Michael being locked up, being in that cell alone and vulnerable so that that bastard could rape him, that never would have happened if Sonny wasn't a low-life gangster and if Carly hadn't fought so hard to take my child away from me and give him to Sonny. I mean, think about it, Mom. He was raised around violence. He was, he was surrounded by criminals. In my book, what happened to Michael? Well, that's on their heads. Oh, AJ, good, I wanted to talk to you. Tracy, do you think we could just, just for today, please take the day off from sniping at each other? I, I'm just not in the mood to talk about relish. I don't want to talk about that, and I don't want to fight Monica. She told me what happened to Michael in prison. You what? Well, I, I was upset, AJ, and it, uh, it oh, Great, you know, go, go, go ahead, you know? I'm, I'm sure you're gonna find some really scathingly witty way to lord it over me that I was off hiding to try and save my ass while my son was being raped in prison. I just wanna say I'm sorry. What? I have two sons of my own. And although I can't pretend to know what you're going through if anybody hurt, Ned or Dylan like that, it's unimaginable. And I'm sorry for Michael and I'm really sorry for you. And despite everything, we are family and if there's anything I can do, just ask. Thank you. Thank you for what you said about Michael. I, I really appreciate that. Bottom line, AJ, is we are both parents. You're right, we are, and, and we're family. Sometimes we're the family from hell. <laughs> So did Mom tell you that uh, Franco is still alive? Yes. And being alive, he is counted as one of Daddy's living grandchildren. Yeah, that little point wasn't lost on me either. Are you kidding me? That psychopath can, can inherit? Mom, listen, you know, uh, strictly speaking, according to Grandfather's will, he's entitled to a share. Yeah, and voting rights at ELQ. 
Yeah, it kind of puts a whole new spin on things, don't it? A nauseating spin. I can't believe we're even having the conversation. That maniac is not part of this family. Oh, now, is that any way to talk about the newest member of your tribe? Peace. I come in peace, fellow quartermans. What the hell are you doing here? I cannot believe the incompetence of the PCPD let you escape. Oh, perish the thought. I'm all about law and order now. My lawyer made a compelling argument. The DA agreed. I posted bail. God bless the American judicial system. You must be my stepmother, Monica. So nice to meet you. You made bail how? Well, I already mentioned, I have a great lawyer. I think you know her, actually. I think she represented you, too, AJ. Diane Miller. A felon's best friend. She is fantastic. Let me tell you, she is very well put together. Hey, bro, you hit that? It's a heartwarming story, I think. Three brothers separated by circumstances and yet united by one common element. You, me, Jason, all represented by Diane Miller. I could just shoot that woman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Auntie Tracy, please, mind what you say. No one's gonna be shooting anyone. Can't we all just get along? Why are you even here? And why do you even ask, brother? This is the family home. Sukasa, you know, Mikasa. Aw. Dear old dad. Alan. Right? Oh, shame. I never even got to meet him. Get your pants off that. And grandfather. The patriarch. That means head of the family. The head of the family. Wow. Look at that face. I guess it's true. He was an inspiration. Luckily, he didn't live long enough to see you in this house. Not that you'll be staying. Monica, that's your cue. Get out of my house, Franco. Do you really want me to leave? Yes. Well, I could help you. If I leave, I'll be taking my controlling shares of ELQ with me. So do you still want me to leave? You've all forgotten about my shares of ELQ. We need to have a meeting. We need to have a family meeting and discuss the family business. Stepmother, may I please have a few moments with my auntie and my brother? Stepmother. I don't want to call you stepmother. Would it be okay with you if I call you mummy? Oh, gee, you would. dare call me anything, and I'm not going anywhere. This is my house. Monica, just do it. What? <clears throat> Mom, please, just, um, we, we have to deal with them. Yeah. Please. How can you ignore such a heartfelt, if not self-serving, plea from your own son? Well, at least I won't have to look at your face anymore. I feel the same way, Mommy. Fine. I call this meeting to order. You two have been squabbling over the leadership of ELQ since Grandpa Teddy died. Eddie. Eddie. Since Grandpa Eddie died. But I'm here to tell you now that from this moment on, everything is going to change. As one of Edward's living grandchildren, I'm entitled to shares of ELQ, which, when you think about it, is downright poetic. That was not my father's intention. I don't know. I think Edward would have liked me. You know, if nothing else, he would have respected my intellect, because let's face it, now that Jason's gone, I'm a lot smarter than some of the other grandchildren. Who knows? Maybe Eddie is smiling in his grave. Maybe he finds it amusing that my shares are what's tipping the balance in your little power struggle. Good, you're both here. We need to talk about Franco. No, not Franco. Frank Q. For Quarterman.